Many founders start up using the Kleinunternehmerregelung. Why this could be a bad idea, I'll explain in this video. Hi, my name is Melcher from Contest Tax Consulting and I will put it out there. I really don't like the Kleinunternehmerregelung. I just really don't like it. And there are a few reasons for that. But before you watch this video and possibly wonder, Kleinunternehmerregelung, what the heck is he talking about? Make sure to watch this video that I'm linking here in the top right corner. There, I explain what that actually is. There are three reasons in particular why I don't like the Kleinunternehmerregelung. The first reason is perspective. Dear founders and also other self-employed people, in all honesty, you can take advantage of the Kleinunternehmerregelung up to 22,000 euros in turnover per year. If you're above that, you no longer qualify for it anyway in the next year. 22,000 euros from a full-time job in annual sales and profits will be even lower, you cannot really live off that, let alone feed a family with that. I can only advise against it because sooner or later, you will have to change it anyway. And before you start small, Better think big from the beginning and stay Gross Unternehmer. This does not apply, and I totally admit this, to people who do this as a side hustle. If you have a main job, are employed for example, and you want to start your own business on the side, it can make sense. Even then, not always, but it could make perfect sense. The second point is the image problem. If you have corporate customers and write an invoice, you always have to indicate on this invoice that you are a small business owner and that you're not paying Umsatzsteuer. By the way, if you don't know exactly how to write your invoice as a Kleinunternehmer, take a look at this video. There, I explain exactly what your invoice has to look like as a Kleinunternehmer. Honestly, if you're trying to sell yourself and are promoting that you deliver top grade quality, but then you send invoices that say Kleinunternehmerregelung, it makes it seem as if your self-employment is more of a hobby. That's why I have to say that if you have business customers, you do have an image disadvantage. If you have end customers, you may not have that disadvantage. The third point that I would like to mention why the Kleinunternehmerregelung is not to your advantage is actually in many cases the liquidity disadvantage. You don't indicate Umsatzsteuer and you don't have to pay any. But when you're just starting up, you have investments. The reason why you don't have to pay that tax is that on the other hand, when you get charged Umsatzsteuer, for example, when you buy a laptop, book a consultant, rent a co-working space or an office, buy a train ticket or a plane ticket, whatever, that money you're being charged on every invoice you cannot claim. And if you do your accounting according to the standard taxation, you can always get this UST back from the tax office. You simply get that tax credit refunded by the tax office. Especially people who are at the beginning of their self-employment relatively often get their investments refunded rather than that they have to pay anything. With the Kleinunternehmerregelung, you have less work, yes, but also often less money. So now we have to ask the question, when is the Kleinunternehmerregelung actually worth doing? And to answer this question, let's take a look at the different types of self-employed people. So both full-time self-employed and part-time self-employed. If you're self-employed full-time, I would advise against the Kleinunternehmerregelung. 22,000 euros annual turnover is not very much for a full-time self-employment and it will not be enough for you in the long run. Sooner or later, you will have to deal with the standard taxation anyway. Then you'll have to change your invoices, possibly inform your customers and so on. It's better to be professional right off the bat. Write your invoices with Umsatzsteuer. Make the advanced UST returns and benefit from the fact that you can also claim the UST that is invoiced to you. So looking at the first group, full-time self-employed, don't use it. For part-time self-employed people, we need to distinguish who your customer is first. Do you have companies as a customer or end consumers? If you have companies as your customers as a part-time self-employed person, then honestly, the possible price advantage that you might have through the Kleinunternehmerregelung doesn't really apply anyway, because the Umsatzsteuer, which you would have to show and which you can charge your customers, the customer in turn can claim in his or her advanced UST return and get the money back from the tax office. This means that your customer is not at all interested in whether you report Umsatzsteuer or not, if it is a company. So because of that, the Kleinunternehmerregelung as a part-time self-employed with corporate clients is a bad idea and has more disadvantages than advantages. The only case where the Kleinunternehmerregelung can be quite good and useful is if you are self-employed on the side and have end customers as clients. For example, if you are a yoga instructor and you do private yoga sessions, so no corporate healthcare or stuff like that, only private classes, 
you do that part-time and charge money for that. Then you have a price advantage because you don't have to pay Umsatzsteuer. But that only makes sense if you don't have bigger investments. If you have a lot of costs and investments, it may well be that it would be more favorable to be able to claim Umsatzsteuer, which you are being charged for these investments. But then you would not be able to do that. In the end, it has to be said that the Kleinunternehmerregelung, for whatever reason, is incredibly popular and talked about everywhere. But in practice, it really only makes sense for a small group of self-employed people. I hope that this video could help you and has given you a bit more clarity on the topic of the Kleinunternehmerregelung. I personally have to say that I really don't like it. Also, because it's a bit of an approach where you think from the start, I hope I stay under a certain turnover limit. The goal as a self-employed person should be something else, and that is to make as much revenue and as much profit as possible. Because of that, my personal recommendation is in any case, think big from the start and approach it properly and professionally. If you now say, I also want to approach my self-employment professionally, and that includes a good tax advisor, you're in luck because we are tax consultants. We like to support freelancers and work completely digitally. All the information about our services and how we can help you too, you can find by clicking this link. Also, be sure to check out our online community as well. I'll explain exactly how you can sign up in this video.